a screaming signal. Check this out. If you look at that, believe it or not, it's the same. Well, hello everyone. In the truck, loaded up, headed out to the lakes. I'm gonna try to hit three of them this evening. Got everything done, had a little extra time. Gonna go back and see what I can get today over the weekend. I don't know, they may be hunted, they may not. You never know until you get out there and start swinging. And it really just comes down to luck, doesn't it? Just if you're the first one on the water after something is dropped. So hopefully I'll get something. And uh, when I do, I'll put the camera on it and I'm definitely gonna show you guys. So I will see you out in the water. I got a young lady came over here and told me that she's lost two of her rings. Her name is Caitlin here. And uh, there's two silver rings. And uh, we came over here and I've already found them. So I'm going to go down there and scoop them up and uh, we'll give them back to her. I thought James Avery is the Texas Texas ring. Oh, yeah, it's so James Well, I've been looking for about the last 30 minutes for this other ring that uh, Caitlin said she, she lost. It was a James Avery. She told me it was a bow, like an arrow. And uh, finally got it just a little bit further away than where the other one was. But it took me a while. They were all out here playing, so I couldn't really detect right here on this spot. So I see that she's still up there. I'm going to walk up there and uh, give her this and see if we can't get all this on camera and do a double ring return on this video. All right, let's go give it to her. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Can we see the both of them together? Yeah. Well, Caitlin, next time don't wear them on the lake. <laughs> yes, All right, there you. you go. Glad I could help you out. All right, I was able to get both of them back to her. And uh, now we'll get back down to swinging, uh, swinging in the water. See what else we can find. So uh, hopefully we can get us some more rings that I can keep. All right, let's keep on going. Well, I came over here to another lake. All I found at that other one was just those two rings and uh, that, that necklace. I got a little piece of a necklace over there, but I came over here to another lake on the way home and uh, got a real faint 65. I started digging it. It's about, uh, oh, I bet it was probably nearly 10, 12 inches deep. And you can see there, it's a little uh, religious item. It's a necklace. It looks like it's got a, maybe a, some type of saint on it. It's got some stuff on the back. It is gold looking, but it's too small for me to see if it's going to be uh, 14 karat gold or not. It has kind of that gold look to it, so I'll uh, let you know in the wrap. We're losing daylight. Let's keep on rolling. I was getting a real scratchy uh, 45, 39 to a 45, and it's a uh, bracelet. It doesn't look like it's going to be gold. It's going to be a fake gold, but it says, I am enough. I am enough. I wonder what that means. Uh, I don't see any markings on it. Hey, but I'll take it. It's getting day late, and uh, I'll take anything I can get right now. All right, let's keep on rolling. Well, I was getting a 76. And like always, I think it's going to be just a stinking Lincoln penny, and I dig it anyway, and it ended up being a... Uh, some type of little ring. I really don't know if you're ringing up a 76. I'm sure it's uh, just probably copper or something. It's nothing fancy, but hey, got a little bit more light left. I'm gonna go a little bit longer, see what we come up with. All right, let's keep rolling. Well, I made my way down to the southern end of the lake and uh, got a screaming signal. Check this out. Can you hear that? I'm gonna put you underwater and let you look at the, at the uh, number. That's ringing up. I don't know what it said just then when you were looking at it. It's ringing up anywhere from an 89 to a 94, but most times it's ringing up as a 92, 94. So uh, let's go down there and get this. It's got to be silver. Would you 
you look at that, believe it or not, it's the same ring, just a bigger size than I dug in my last video. Hey, f uh, faith, faith, hope, and love. It's a James Avery ring. I dug one just like that in the last video. What are the odds? Yeah, when this thing's ringing up at 93, 94, you know that's going to be a big silver ring. So now I've got a little burst of energy, and it's getting dark. So let's uh, let's get at it. Let's see if we can just uh, keep on going and get a few more silvers out here. All right, let's keep going. Well, it's 9 o'clock. I had a pretty good day. I'm going to call it quits because I can't see anymore. And this lake has been known to have alligators in it. I know alligators come at night, so I don't want to take any chances. So I'm going to move on, and I'll probably come back out Thursday evening. I'll see you guys in the water. I'm back out here at the lake where I found those two rings and gave it back to that young girl. I'm back out here again. It's quiet. There's nobody here. I just got me a real jumpy 72 to 76 signal. Check this out. And it's real shallow, so I'm going to do a live dig here, and we're going to go down there, and let's see if we can find this together and see what it's going to be. Out to be a, looks like it's going to be a tungsten ring with a black line in the, through the middle of it. So that's good. I haven't been out here maybe 10 minutes and uh, it's real quiet. So whatever I find is probably just because someone's missing it and uh, are dropped after they've searched it. So hey, I'll take a tungsten ring. It's better than nothing at all. All right, let's keep on going and see if we can find anything else. Well, I started to go down to the deep water and it's getting a solid 45 and I can actually see see that right there can you see it it's actually right on top of the ground it's uh ringing up a real choppy 45. so let's go down and let's see what what it is all right looks like it's going to be a uh, one of those serenity prayer necklaces Bringing up a 45, I would think it'd be stainless steel. It wouldn't be white gold. But we'll look on the clasp anyway and see. And I uh, got an 85. I like it when I get 85 odd numbers on my detector because that's usually a ring. If it's uh, even or an 87, sometimes it's just a quarter, but all the odd numbers seem up in the 80s to be a ring. So this is a James Avery Hart ring, an initial ring, I think, something like that. But, uh, boy, I tell you what, I've been finding a lot of James Avery's lately. So uh, we'll put that one in the pocket and we'll keep on rolling. Well, as I lay myself back down and turned around and started going back the other way, I got another 72 signal, real jumpy. And kind of a deep sound and uh it, another tungsten ring man uh two tungstens and a silver out of here already and haven't been here 30 minutes so this may be a good uh a good day i don't know we'll just keep on going and see what we get well i came up here in about knee deep water had to go get a new battery and uh i thought i was digging a memorial penny and it ended up being a silver another silver ring check that out it pays to dig those stinking lincolns because you never know what ring you're going to get out of it all right, that's four rings out of here. Let's keep on rolling. I'm so hot, I got chills. And uh, anyway, I'm glad I stuck around. I got one toe ring, big old fat toe ring. It says mom on it. It's ringing up like a 75. And so uh, I'll take it. One more swing, one more pass, and I'm going to go home. Well, I was getting this, uh, I stopped at this last lake. I call it the trio. There's three lakes in a row. One's about 45 minutes away, one's like 25 minutes away, one's like five minutes away. And so I am exhausted though this week, but uh, I came out here and said I'm going to make just a few rounds in the lake and uh, and I got an 82 signal here and lo and behold, I got another ring. Got a nice little silver ring right here with some type of uh, green looking stone on it. Hey, it's been a good week uh, from last Friday to this Friday. Uh, between last episode and this episode that you're watching, I've gotten so far 22 rings. 
two of them I gave back as a, uh, uh, I look for them in the, in the lake and return them. And I've got a few more uh, swaps through here before it gets dark and call it a day and I'll see you at the wrap up. Well, I stayed out in the lake till I just couldn't do it anymore. I was so weak and tired. I spent about nine hours yesterday uh, in the lake and uh, I just, I don't know why I do it to myself, but I do. And I just stay out there and go until I can't go anymore. So I stopped at uh, uh, did three lakes and uh, stopped at the last lake on the way home. The one's closest to my house. and just thought I'd just do it for a little bit. And I'm glad I did. And um, I had a pretty good week. Not as good as the week before, the episode before, but this was a pretty good week. And uh, nonetheless, and uh, actually, if you looked at last week's video and this week's video, it's actually all within the same week. Uh, from a Friday to a Friday, I just I found so much I could separate it out. It was at different times out throughout the week. And so uh, let me spin you around. Let me show you what I got. There's a the trash. I don't know why people do this, but I'll dig it up if I come across it. I'll dig all that out. Uh, a lot of aluminum foil and cans, fishing stuff, glasses, miscellaneous stuff, these vape pens, aluminum caps, bottle caps, beaver tails, and then the regular pull tabs. Old Goofy was with me, got me a Goofy toy, and then I got some type of uh, shark toy. Uh, not as much money. I went to the lakes, and they're, these lakes are pretty cleaned out. And uh, you just, in order to get something, you just got to be the one on top of it all. And uh, so I got uh, two dollars and quarters, and there we got uh, one dollar in dimes, twenty cents in nickels, and then we got uh, nine cents in pennies. And um, here's all my good treasures. Two rings are not here, as you saw in the video. The young girl lost them. She saw me detecting. She came over there and asked me to find them. And I found one immediately, and then it took me a while to get the other one, but I found it. And I, so there's really two more rings over here, two more James Avery silver rings that I did find and returned to her. And I'm glad I was able to do that. But here's my bracelets. Uh, I am enough. How do you like to wear that? I am enough. Another cool little necklace right here. It's one of these uh, Serenity Prayer, if I can get it. It says, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change and uh, courage to change the things I can and wisdom to know the difference. And so that all came chain and all. Uh, got that piece. Little gold, a little, I don't know if you can see that very good. My little 10 karat gold little medallion, uh, Catholic jewelry. And then here are my rings. I went to this lake and I didn't think I was going to get anything. I ended up having five rings out of that one lake. And and uh, so this is a junker. I found this in my church parking lot. So I just thought I included it in here. Got a stainless steel ring, big toe ring. Mama lost her big toe ring. Two tungstens. And a lot of youth are wearing, the young people are wearing these things today. Dug up a very static E75 thinking it was going to be a zinc penny. It turned out to be a little, little silver ring another james avery love you ring another james avery second one i dug one of these uh two videos ago faith hope and love big james Avery rings up like a 93 on the at crow and then i stopped at that last lake and check this out folks when i saw this ring and looked at the side on the shank i could tell it was a vintage ring um, and when you open it up and look on the inside, it says sterling somewhere in there. It says sterling. There it is. And uh, I don't know what type of stone that is. If you do, let me know. But it's definitely a beautiful vintage ring. How do I know it's vintage? Because I believe it was in 1973 they stopped using the word sterling in rings and began to go with the 925 stamp. Now, some today can still use the sterling stamp, but most of them, you can tell by the way this looks. And I have other ones similar in my collection. This is a, a probably 50, 60 year old ring. Somebody's really missing that. And I'm really not certain on that stone. It's a green looking stone dome. I don't know. But anyway, we ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, then 10, 11, the ones I returned. And uh, actually 10, but I'm gonna throw that one in there too. So there it is. So there's all the trash. And here's all the treasure. I always say the greatest treasure isn't what you can find in a lake and put on your tailgate. The greatest treasure what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just want to wish everybody happy hunting. God bless.
video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I appreciate it very much.